What's up guys, my name is Ace, and with yesterday's mid-season update for Season 5, where we got the new Finn LMG, it turns out there were a couple other changes that were made behind the scenes with no mention of them whatsoever, and I wanted to cover those quickly in today's first video. I will have another video coming out later, of course, because the big Black Ops Cold War reveal is happening very soon. Which, by the way, just wanted to give a shout out to my Twitch channel here. I am planning on live streaming the Black Ops Cold War reveal as it happens on my Twitch channel, which of course I will leave linked down below. And then depending on what goes on there, I'm likely going to do some sort of a recap type video for later today. But back to the topic at hand for this video, the first stealth change that they made was actually a change to the MP5, and this is a really big deal for the competitive side of Call of Duty. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, for the average player out there, they won't even notice this change. It doesn't really matter for regular public matches or anything. The problem is, this was a change to one of the most used guns in professional play the week before the big final championship. And they've been competing for literally millions of dollars this year. And the week before the final, they changed something up. This is completely unacceptable in my mind, no matter how small the change is. But let's get into the change that they made here. Basically, all they have done is it seems like they have shifted the perspective or the way that the character is holding the MP5 with the collapsible stock attachment. And I do want to give a big shout out to JGod here. I will leave his channel linked down below. He was the first one to discover exactly what changed. Like all the pros could immediately feel that something was different. But as far as I'm aware, JGod was the first one that really nailed it down and figured out what exactly changed with the MP5 and why it suddenly looked and felt different. And yeah, that's all that really changed with the MP5. It didn't get a damage adjustment or a range adjustment. The recoil still appears to be exactly the same. The only thing they've really done is shifted the perspective and how it looks on screen. And taking a look at it pre-patch versus post-patch, we can look at the side-by-side -side here, and you might not even really notice it all that much in the side-by-side -side unless you're looking very carefully. It's more so what happens when we overlay them here. And you can see post-patch, the gun appears to be wider on the back end, so it takes up a bit more of the screen. It's going to be blocking the target area a little bit more than it was pre-patch. And again, I'm not claiming this is a big difference for the average player out there, but at the highest levels of play, any minor change to something that people have been practicing for thousands of hours with, especially the week before a championship, that's a big deal. Now, I realize a lot of people won't understand why this is such a big deal, but to put it into perspective a bit and compare it to a sport, for instance, imagine the NBA the week before playoffs decides they want to raise the hoop by a couple inches. Nothing too crazy, they're not like changing it by a whole foot or anything, but let's just say they make a two inch change to the height of the hoop the week before playoffs in the NBA. Now, for the average person out there that just plays the odd pickup game in the park and is just sort of messing around, a couple inches of change probably wouldn't make that much of a difference. There's a good chance a lot of people would never even notice it. But at the highest levels of play, that can absolutely make a huge difference. And I see this situation being somewhat similar. So I'm really hoping for the competitive players out there that they can revert this change just for the COD Champs weekend because that would really suck for those players. But that's the first change that was made behind the scenes without any mention. The next change is something a little bit similar. They changed the grip up on the AK-47 with the RPK barrel. And what they did here is they changed the grip to a C-clamp and it just doesn't fit in with this barrel. As you can clearly see right here, your thumb is actually blocking part of the iron sight. So you can barely even see your target. And this has effectively rendered this barrel useless with an iron sight. I mean, sure, the gun still shoots exactly the same, but you're going to have a much harder time seeing your target and staying on target as you're firing. So I hope to manage to work that one out. And this does make me wonder what other perspective changes or grip changes have they made that we just haven't noticed yet. I'd be willing to bet there are even more out there, but probably none that are nearly as bad as this one to the AK with the RPK barrel. But finally, there's one last thing that was actually added behind the scenes that I haven't seen mentioned by an official source anywhere. This is they've added Dragon's Breath rounds to the R90 shotgun. And you can go see these for yourself in the ammunition category. You can see that the requirement for unlocking this is set at 10 slide kills. However, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like this challenge is actually working at this point. I have tried to get some progress going on this, and I just can't figure out how to get this to progress. So I think it's just bugged at this point. So while the Dragon's Breath rounds are there, they aren't currently unlockable as far as I can tell. Maybe there's a certain attachment combination you have to use or something. I don't really know. But I'm really interested to see how these Dragon's Breath rounds end up turning out, especially when it comes to Warzone, because Dragon's Breath rounds are quite powerful in Warzone on the VLK Rogue, for instance. 
And if they're balanced the same way with the R90, this could potentially become the new best shotgun to use in Warzone. But I guess that's something we'll just have to wait for. Once these are unlockable, I'll be sure to hop in and do some proper testing with this. But with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's quick video on the stealth changes and additions that they've made behind the scenes with the most recent update. Just a reminder, I'm going to be live on Twitch with the Black Ops Cold War reveal today. And then shortly after that, I plan on having that second video of the day coming out talking about this reveal. Of course, before we wrap up the video though, I'd like to know in the comments section below, what do you guys think about these changes, especially this change to the MP5 the week before the championship weekend? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.